Good afternoon YouTube. Today we are creating a rip cut saw guide. I got this idea from DIY creators page and basically what this does is help you create a uh, or cut a very long cut that would be rather difficult to do freehanding um, even with a circular saw. Um, it's really quite simple to build. It's just a simple uh, 1x2 and 1x12 uh, and you just put them together and uh, use your your own personal saw to measure where that needs to go and make sure that uh, you can get everything cut perfectly straight. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm using a program called SketchUp, um, which I've used for a long time, but uh, never for something like this before, so it's kind of a first for me. And then uh, basically just using it to mock up in the computer as opposed to with actual wood where I'm going to be placing everything. Now it's pretty simple, you just, uh, like I said, you take the 1x2, you place it on your board, and you uh, locate your saw, and then, because I want to be able to cut on both sides of my 1x2, um, the plan is to be able to use this in either direction without having to walk over to the far side uh, to be able to make these longer cuts. And so basically when you're done, uh, when you've located your 1x2, and you're just going to take your saw on either side and just slice down the edges and that will give you a perfectly straight line because you're pressed up against your 1x2 uh, to slice these off and they'll be perfectly the right size afterwards. So I'm going to go ahead and design this here and then we're going to build it in real life and hopefully it's going to work out just the way I want it to. And as you can see here what you do is you just, uh, once you've got your 1x2 attached to your 1x12, you just take one cut all the way down the side, slice off your extra, and you should be pretty much good to go. Alright, so this is built just like the one on DIY Creators channel. And as you can see on the one side, it worked just fine. Fits in perfect. But on the other side, because my saw is a little bit differently than different than his, uh, it's not wanting to ride too well because this is too this is too tall, getting in the uh, in the way here. So we're gonna have to figure out something a little bit different for the next one. All right, so back to the drawing board here, and I think I have a pretty good idea what we're gonna do. We're gonna use a single one by twelve this time, and instead of adding a 1x2 to the top of it as the guide, we're going to use our existing saw guide to slice this guy down the lengthwise and we're going to just take a part of him and uh, elevate it so that it will serve our purpose as a rip guide uh, for, the, for the saw to run against. And then just like the first time, we'll uh, slice off either side of the board so it'll be just the, the right amount of length or width on either side. So again, here in SketchUp, uh, what I'll do is I, I'm guesstimating off this existing uh, component that I already have of the saw, um, and when I actually get out into the field, when I'm actually working with real materials, I'll have to measure off my, my actual saw that I have out there in the shop, and hopefully not run into the same issue again. And so this piece that I've pulled up now represents the half-inch sliver, basically, that I'm going to be using um, as the actual straight-edge guide that my uh, guard will fit against. And so what I'll need to do is use the existing rip cut saw guide to slice that board, basically, you know, six inches off the edge, um, and then a second cut to give them my half inch sliver, and then I will uh, basically glue it all back together, uh, probably with some screws to help some added, give me some added uh, stability, and then uh, again cut off the excess on either side, which is what I'm marking now, and that should give me a guide that I can work with in both directions, as opposed to one I've already built, which 
only works on one side. All right, we're gonna take this idea out there to the shop and hopefully this is gonna work out a little bit better than the last time. All right, so this is a slightly modified design. Instead of having a full uh, two by piece of material here, actually just a little sliver of the same, same board. So again, we'll work just fine on this side. But now, works just fine on this side too.